I knew that I wasn't, I didn't fit with the, the normal Christian thing that I was kind of being brought up with. I've always been interested in picking up stones and just, I've always had like a love for, for nature. I thought everybody could, you know, see ghosts and it was just normal. It wasn't until later in life that I realised that, no, not everyone does. I have been a witch, psychic, whatever you like to call it, for a good few years. My sister, who is one, told me I was one. It's a framework of religion similar to what the whole broad title of Christian is, the, the equal term being pagan. And under Christianity you've got the different sects, and in paganism you've got different sects, which is like Druids, witches, Wiccans. Well, we don't all ride around on broomsticks and we don't all have, you know, long pointy noses and wear black hats. There's a lot of people that don't really understand um, the New Age witch now, um, like they all think it's demonic. There's nothing demonic. It's about loving Mother Nature, loving Mother Earth. The stereotypes are very much steered by the Hollywood image and or the storybook image. It's more closely, more religion based, like traditional based, where a spell is essentially a prayer just with added energy and things added to it. A lot of people think that witches can snap their fingers and do stuff and they'll make this happen and that happen, but real life witches, it doesn't just happen like that. It's, yeah, a lot of it's mind, spiritual, there's a lot of different forms of it. But it's, you know, a lot of people's perceptions, they watch movies and think we can jump off roofs like practical magic and that sort of thing, but it doesn't always work like that. I was asked to do a, a house clearing. So I thought, oh yeah, I'll give anything a go once. And it was actually a, like a big puff of smoke and I was chasing the smoke all through the house and I got it down into the lady's bedroom. And so I put the salt down and as I was putting the salt down, the smoke manifested itself and it was about eight foot tall and it just looked like a, a big golem from Lord of the Lord of the Rings. It was hissing and clawing and all I could feel was just the top of my head. And I just, so relieved, I've seen too many horror movies, and I just, oh, is that all you can do? <sighs> Went away and had a coffee thinking, oh, what do I do now? So I came back and it was the whole scene of the room. It wasn't a bedroom anymore, it looked more like a, a cell. And there was a man who was curled up in the fetal position in the corner. He stood up and said, I am John Henry, and I did not steal the cattle. And I just looked at this, this young man and says to him, oh, I believe you, well, why, why wouldn't I? And with that, he just, and left. He just needed someone to actually believe him. And he, he went to wherever he was meant to go. After we had our 6.3, um, a couple of nights after, I went to a friend's place, this is late at night, and there was like a couple walking up the footpath in front of us, it was dark, and he stopped when they went to walk across the road. There was a power pole in front of them, and the guy walked across the road and she'd vanished. They were spirit, yeah, checking up on loved ones and just, there. Yeah. It's part of me, always has been. Often I've chosen to fly under the radar and not, yeah, not make a big deal out of it. After losing previous friends through that, some people just by their nature can't actually deal with it. So it's like you know, people believe in God, they don't. It's just a matter of researching it more. And if they want to research it more, cool. If they don't believe, and I guess you can't persuade them otherwise, but you can at least give them a knowledge, and then they can choose to be you know, follow it or not follow it. I'd like it to be a lot more accepting, accepted in society and actually have a valid place, just like a lot of other religions have. And so it doesn't need to be as underground as, as it is. Like, it, being underground is actually doing it a disservice. There's more things on in heaven and earth that we actually know about, and life can be stranger than fiction. And... Yeah, be careful what you wish for, be careful what you curse for, 
because it can come back. Um, and people that don't believe in life after death, well, you're in for a shock. 